tight-knit Berkeley Haas is known for its ties to Silicon Valley and deep commitment to social impact. It's a combination that leads the school to save itself. It's at the heart of what's next. With fewer than 300 students per class and less traditional essay prompts, securing a spot at Haas is not an easy task. How can you write amazing application essays that will wow the Haas admissions committee? Let's leap in. Our first question from the Haas admissions committee. What makes you feel alive when you are doing it and why? In just 300 words, the adcom wants you to quickly open your soul. They want to get to know not what you've accomplished, but who you are when you feel your best. And that's a tall order. Like all other essay questions, there's no right answer for this. For one person, the answer might be something as broad as creating or supporting. For another, it might be something as specific as woodworking, writing, or cooking. And yet for another, it might be something as abstract as laughing. Don't try to guess at what you think the school wants to hear, but truly think about what makes you feel alive and share a narrative that reveals you doing it and gets the heart of that why. So if you feel alive while you're woodworking, you likely have a metaphor for creating or artistry. If you feel alive while supporting others, you need to show that you really do this in a way that speaks to your soul and where an outsider can get a sense that this is not what you do, but is almost fundamentally who you are. A quick word about work stories. You can write about work here if your work is truly what makes you feel alive but you have to stay away from the commonplace aspects of your work. It's gonna be hard to argue that you feel alive when you're deep in that spreadsheet or you make the books balance. Nothing is impossible, but that's pretty hard. If you're writing about work, you need to discuss aspects like the strenuousness of achieving an outcome or the sense of purpose that compels you or the creativity in that process that gets you that outcome. In other words, it's unlikely your task itself, but it's the impact that compels you. Okay. One down, let's talk about Haas's second required question about as no-nonsense as it gets. How will an MBA help you achieve your short-term and long-term career goals? Just 300 words. This one's, again, pretty straightforward. It's a personal statement essay asking you about your motivations to earn an MBA and expectations as to where it will lead you after graduation. Since the space is limited, focus on presenting your answer directly, but thoroughly. It's important that the transition from your short-term goal to your long-term goal makes sense. Make sure they're related and clearly stated, but also make sure that we know how one will logically lead to the other. And while Haas doesn't explicitly ask about past experiences or why Haas is the right choice for you, a brief mention of the past for context and a clear connection to the resources at Haas at the end are important to contextualize your goals and show fit with the program. For more on how to tackle this essay, check out our video on writing personal statements. But we're not done with Haas yet. Now, onto the video essay. Haas asks all applicants to submit a video essay briefly introducing themselves to the admissions committee, explaining which leadership principle resonates most with them, and telling the admissions committee how they have exemplified the principle in their personal or professional life. And you have to do all that on camera in under two minutes. Hey, several other schools give you a minute, so look on the bright side. This may seem like a lot of time to some. Okay, deep breaths. No one loves video. This can be really intimidating for applicants or a few love video. The admissions committee simply wants a more dynamic representation of your personality than a written essay can provide. Be honest and be yourself. So let's start with Haas's four defining principles. Question the status quo, confidence without attitude, students always and beyond yourself. Which one really speaks to you? Think of examples and how you have lived this principle. You have about 250 spoken words in two minutes. Don't rush to cram in 500 words. By being calm and collected, you send a message too. We suggest that you keep your intro short and sweet, identify the principle, and then launch right into your story, or in rare cases, stories, about your chosen principle and how you've exemplified it. Don't repeat the question, just let your actions speak for themselves and naturally reveal the connection to that principle. For more tips on preparing for and actually filming your video, check out our video on how to make a great business school video essay. Okay, Haas's last required question. Can you please describe any experience or exposure you have in the area of diversity, equity, inclusion, justice, and belonging, whether through community organizations, personal or 
in the workplace. This is, of course, a hot button topic in the admissions world with the latest Supreme Court ruling overturning affirmative action. Many schools have started asking applicants to discuss a time when they've cultivated a more diverse community or encountered a challenge related to DEI or had their worldview changed by a DEI related experience. This short essay gives you a chance to reflect on your background and draw from any area in your life. By virtue of being a human being, you have experience creating a sense of belonging for others. Take a step back, Consider your role, your actions, and the effect your experience had on you and others. Authenticity, honesty, and sincerity are all key here. Remember, you don't need to have led a revolution or camped out for days in protest or something. Just speak genuinely and directly about your experiences. You have about a paragraph, so make it count. As with many other MBA applications, Haas gives you the opportunity to provide additional information through an optional essay. You do not need to write this essay. It is optional after all. But if you truly believe a key element of your story or profile is missing from the rest of your application, this is your place to tell it. Do not use it to reuse a strong essay from another program or dump every bit of remaining information about yourself into it. You might want to download our optional essay guide for detailed advice on when and how to use the optional essay. And of course, to learn more about Haas, don't forget to download our Insider's Guide. It's free and linked in the description below. Now, go check out our video on how to write an effective personal statement for help on essay number two.